Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going in with a transition shade and I'm taking Soft Brown from MAC with a Sigma Fluffy brush. Now this color is the perfect shade for a transition for a nice soft look. And then going in with the color from ColourPop, it's a nice pastel pink color. I'm using this on a Morphe packing brush. I'm just packing that color onto the lid and then I will blend it up with that soft brown transition color. So you see me doing that right here. Just packing the color on until I like the intensity of it. And then going in with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just blending the pink color in with the brown color. We don't want any harsh lines with this look. Now taking a dense fluffy brush, I'm going in with soft brown and just working that on the outer V and into the crease. So now I'm going to line my lash line with ColourPop's Noche. This part is completely optional, but I need something for my false lashes to sit on. And next I'm going to prepare my lashes for the falsies. I'm going to curl them and apply some mascara. I'm using my favorite at the moment, which is the Lancome Monsoor Big. And then going in with primer, I'm using my Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer and just working that onto the face. And then I'm taking this NYX Liquid Illuminator. Um, I would definitely leave the color uh, down below, but I'm just working that on my cheekbones. So I want that extra glow. You guys know me. And then for today, I'm using my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm using one pump and just working that in with my Real Technique sponge. Now you can definitely use a foundation with this look, but I thought effortless means, you know, minimal makeup, so I'm using a CC cream for this look. Which it turned out pretty good. And then for concealers, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me. So here is the color 20 Sand, and then I'm going right over top of that with the color 10. I think that's light just to be extra, you know. And after that's applied, I'm working that in with my beauty sponge. Just continue to work that in, and then I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder to set down my concealer. And I'm also going to be setting down my smile lines. And for powder, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me with a fluffy brush just to lightly powder my face. Also sweeping off that bake. And for bronzer, you guys know Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, that's my jam. I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush just to add some color back to the face. And this is a blush by Tarte. I'll leave the name down below. And I'm using an angle blush brush to apply that to my face. Gives me a nice flush of color. And for highlight, I'm breaking out the champagne pop. Highlighting is not an option for me. I have to highlight every single day. Can't get enough of the highlight. Mm. Singing skills. So we're gonna finish up the eyes. I'm using a pencil brush with MAC Soft Brown just to work that color on my lower lash line. And then remember to connect the top shadows and the lower shadows together. Now this part is completely optional because this eyeliner did not show up on my waterline, but it made a nice inner corner highlight. And I think this is from Pixie, if I'm not mistaken. And for brow bone highlight, I'm using Max Dazzlite, and I'm also going to pop that on the inner corner as well. And to finish up eyes, I'm using some mascara. Eyes are finished, let's move on to lips. So this is a liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution, and it's a nice pink color. Never used this before. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!